Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this hat here. It could be made for a man or a woman. So I think that it would make a nice unisex hat. I think I like the way it turned out. It's real nice. I might just keep it for myself. Yes, yes, more than likely I will. I love hats, so, and I love brown. And I think this one turned out really good. So yeah, this one's going to be mine. So, but yeah, you can make it for a man or a woman. And it's got a lot of post stitches here. It's not hard at all, really. A little bit of ribbing. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, for this project, I am using Caron Simply Soft Tweeds. Now it is, um, it's a, almost a 100% acrylic. The uh, viscose in it is the uh, flex that you see there. So pretty much 100% acrylic. And it is a uh, medium four weight yarn. You don't have to use this yarn. Any type of medium four weight yarn will work. There's approximately 250 yards in this skein, and one skein will be enough to make a hat. And the color that I'm using is called taupe, but of course you can use any color that you wish. And then I'm going to be using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I want to take a second to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you look in the description box of this video or any of my videos, you'll see an automatic auto subscribe button or auto subscribe link. If you just click on that link, you'll automatically be subscribed and you'll never miss any of my videos. So we want to start off with a slip knot on our hook. And then we're going to work a chain of four. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Now, if you prefer to use the magic circle here, that is fine. I don't use the magic circle because I'm not really that good at it. Okay, and now we're going to chain one. That chain one doesn't count as a stitch. It don't count as anything. So what we want to do is go back and work 12 double crochets through the center of this ring. So we're just going to go ahead and yarn over and go through the ring and draw up a loop. And then go ahead and do our double crochet. We want to do that 12 times. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, I've come to the end of round one and I have my 12 double crochets. You want to end round one by slip stitching into your very first double crochet. Not that chain one that we did that's down here. Remember, that doesn't count as anything. Into the first double crochet. And that'll end round one and we'll have 12 double crochets. Now, if you pull your tail, it should close up that circle a little bit more. And then you can sew it together the rest of the way at the end of, uh, the, at the, end of the hat. So for round two, we're going to chain one. And what we're going to do is we're going to work two double crochets right here into this very first stitch that we slip stitched into. So go ahead and yarn over and go right into that very first stitch. And we're going to work two double crochets. So there's one and two. Now I'm going to work two double crochets in every stitch all the way around until I get back to the beginning. So there's two in that stitch. And then two into the next. Two into the next. And we're just gonna keep working that same pattern, two into every stitch until we get back to our starting point. Okay, I've made it to the end of round two. And you should have a total of 24 stitches now. And we're going to go ahead and end with the slip stitch into our first double crochet. And that'll end round two. So for round three, we're going to chain one. And what we're going to do is we're going to go right back into that very first stitch and we're going to put one double crochet. Now into the next stitch, we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch. 
And then we're also going to put one front post double crochet around the post of that same stitch. So here's where we put the double crochet. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to go around the post of that stitch and do a double crochet. Just like that. Now we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch. And then the next stitch, we'll put one double crochet into the top of it. And then one double crochet around the post of the same stitch. So yarn over and go right around the post like you go from, go right through it like that and then back around so the post is on your hook. And then go ahead and do your double crochet. One double crochet into the next stitch. And then the next stitch will get one double crochet and then one front post double crochet around the same stitch, the post of the same stitch. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way around. One double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet into the top of the next stitch and a front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch. Just like that. One more time. One double crochet into the next stitch. And then the next stitch is going to get one double crochet into the top of the stitch. And then one front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch that we just put the double crochet in. So now I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around until I get back to the beginning and you can see that you're starting to get some posts built up. Okay, I've come to the end of round three and now you should have 36 stitches and you should have ended, your last stitch should have been where you put a double crochet and a front post double crochet in the same stitch. So we're going to end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. That ends round three. So round four, we're going to chain one and we're going to put one double crochet right back into the same stitch. And then we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch. In the next stitch, we're going to put one double crochet into the top of it and a front post double crochet around the post of it. And you can see from the previous round that is where your front post was before. So go right into the top of the next stitch and do a regular double crochet and also a double crochet around the post of the same stitch. And that's kind of what we're going to repeat all the way around now. One double crochet into the next two stitches. So there's one and two and the next stitch is going to get one double crochet into the top of it and one front post double crochet around the post of it. So there's go in there and put one double crochet right into the top and then front post around the post of the same stitch right there. Again one double crochet into the next two stitches. Just one two and the next one is going to get one double crochet into the top of it and a front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch. So we're keeping all our posts lined up just like that. So that's the pattern we're going to repeat all the way around for round four. Okay I'm coming to the end of round four and now you should have 48 stitches total. Your last stitch should have been a regular double crochet plus the front post double crochet in the last stitch there. And now we're going to end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. Okay, round five we're going to chain one and we're going to go right back into that same stitch and double crochet. Now I'm going to work a front post double crochet 
around the next stitch. Just a, just a regular front post double crochet right around the stitch. And now I'm going to put a double crochet into the next stitch. And the next stitch, I'm going to put a double crochet and a front post double crochet into the same stitch. So I'm going to go right in there and put a double crochet. And then right around the post, I'm going to put a front post double crochet. So now that's the repeat now, this time around. One double crochet into the next stitch. One front post double crochet into the next. One double crochet into the next stitch. Now the next stitch is going to get one regular double crochet into the top of it and one front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch. So we're going to repeat that again. One double crochet into the next stitch. One front post double crochet into the next or right around the post of the next. One regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And now the next stitch is going to get a regular or double regular double crochet into the top and a front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch. So there's my regular double crochet and here's my front post. So I'm going to be repeating this pattern all the way around. Go ahead and do it one more time. One regular double crochet into the next stitch. One front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. One regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then the next stitch will get one regular double crochet into the top of it. And one front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch. Just like that. So now I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around so I get back to the beginning. What you're doing is starting another row of posts. Okay, I've made it to the end of round five. 60 stitches now. Your last stitch again should have been a double crochet and a front post double crochet into the last stitch. You want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet. Now round six. We're going to chain one and double crochet right back into the very first stitch. And then we're going to front post double crochet around the next stitch. And then we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch and then the next stitch is going to get one double crochet and a front post double crochet. So there's one double crochet into the top of it and then front post double crochet around the same stitch. So now that's the repeat now this time around. One double crochet into the next stitch. One front post double crochet into the next. One double crochet into these next two double crochets. So one into the top of the next two. So there's one and two. And now the next stitch is going to get a regular double crochet into the top and a front post double crochet around the same stitch. So there's a regular and here's the front post, just like that. 
and I'm going to repeat that again. So I'll do it one more time. One double crochet into the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. One double crochet into the next, these next two stitches, just regular double crochet right on top. So one, two, and then the next stitch is going to get one double crochet into the top of it and a front post double crochet around the post of it. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way around back to the beginning. Okay, I've come to the end of round six. 72 stitches now, and I'm going to go ahead and end with a slip stitch into my first double crochet. Now we will not be doing any more increasing. So round seven, what we're going to do is chain one, double crochet into the very first stitch, front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, front post double crochet around the post of the next. This is actually starting a new row of posts right here. This is the first time that we front post double crocheted in this row. Double crochet into the next stitch and front post double crochet into the next. So we're not putting two stitches into one this time. So that's kind of what we repeat now all the way around. It's just double crochet into the next, front post double crochet into the next. So that's kind of what we repeat now. It's just uh, front post double crochet, regular double crochet, front post double crochet, and regular double crochet. Front post double crochet, regular double crochet, front post double crochet, and that's what we repeat all the way around. No more putting two stitches into one. It's just front post double crochet and regular double crochet, front post double crochet and regular double crochet. All the way around until you get back to the beginning. Just like that. So we've been keeping our post stitches lined up. We just started a new row of posts right here in between these posts. That's what we did this time around. See the new row we started? Right in between these. So front post, double crochet, regular double crochet. Front post, regular, front post, regular, all the way around, back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it to the end of round seven. And it's okay if it's flipping up like that. That's not a big deal. We'll take care of that in a little bit. Uh, 72 stitches is what you should still have. And you want to end with the slip stitch into your first double crochet. Okay. Now we're going to chain one. And we're going to do one single crochet in every stitch around. So round eight is just one single crochet. So we're going to go right back into that same stitch and single crochet. And then I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until I get back to my starting point. Just like that. One single in the top of every stitch. 
until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round eight and you still should have 72 stitches. Now round eight actually starts the repeat uh, rows for the rest of the hat. So you did one single crochet in every stitch for round eight, 72 stitches. Now we're gonna end with a slip stitch in the back loop of the first single crochet. So here's the front loop, go into that back loop and slip stitch like that. Now I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna work one single crochet back into that same spot. And I'm gonna work one single crochet into the back loop only of every stitch all the way around. Only going into that one loop, that back loop. So this is round nine that we're on. One single crochet, back loop only, until you get back to the beginning. And you can see that's putting a little bit of a ridge on it, just for some decoration. So go ahead and add, do that. One single crochet, back loop only, until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it back around at the end of round nine. 72 stitches still. Go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet, back loop only. So what we're gonna do is repeat round nine two more times. So we just finished round nine. We're gonna do 10 and 11 the exact same way. So we just chain one, single crochet into the back loop of the first stitch and single crochet into the back loop of every stitch all the way around. And when you make it back to the beginning, you'll have 72 stitches and then you'll start around 11 the same way. You'll end round 10 with the slip stitch into the back loop of the first single crochet you made, and then you start again with round 11, putting one single crochet back loop only. So now we're just, we're just repeating round nine two more times. So we did round nine, now I'm on round 10, and then we'll repeat it one more time for round 11. I hope that wasn't too confusing. So repeat round nine two more times, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of round 11. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round 11. You still should have 72 stitches. Now we're gonna end in a slip stitch in our first single crochet, but we're gonna go through both loops now. So both loops in with the slip stitch. Now we're gonna chain one for round 12. And we're gonna work one double crochet into the very same stitch here that we just slip stitched into. Oops. And now we're gonna work one double crochet in every stitch, both loops, this time, all the way around, back to the beginning. So, Round 12 is one double crochet in every stitch, going through both loops now until you get back to the beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that and I'll meet you back around when I get back to my starting point. Okay, I just made it to the end of round 12. I still have 72 stitches, so I'm gonna go ahead and end with the slip stitch into my first double crochet. Round 13, I'm gonna chain one. Double crochet right there back into that first stitch. And then the next stitch, I'm gonna put a front post double crochet. And then regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. And that's the repeat now for round 13. Regular double crochet. And then front post double crochet around the next. 
regular double into the top of the next and then front post double around the post of the next so I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to the beginning Just like that okay I've made it to the end of round 13 72 stitches still you should have ended in a front post double crochet go ahead and slip stitch into your first double now round 14 is the last row of the repeat all we're gonna do is just repeat row or round 13 for round 14 so we're gonna chain one double crochet back into the same stitch and then front post double crochet around the next stitch and regular double into the top of the next front post double and regular double so just we're just doing what we did for the previous row round 14 is the same as round 13. regular double and front post double regular double and front post double so go ahead and repeat that until you get back to the beginning okay i've made it to the end of round 14 72 stitches still in with the slip stitch into your first double crochet and now what we're going to do is just repeat rows 8 through 14. So row eight is so row fifteen, and we're just gonna repeat row eight. That's where we chain one and we put a single crochet into the same stitch and one single crochet in every stitch around. And then we did our three rows of single crochet in the back loop only, and then we did a row of double crochet. And then we did two rows of front post um, double crochet and regular double crochet. Front post and then regular. So if you had to rewind me, that's okay. Just go ahead and keep repeat rows 8 through 14. was kind of starting to look like okay I went ahead and repeated rounds 8 through 14 for a total of 21 rounds and then I went ahead and ended in a slip stitch there into my first double crochet and I still have 72 stitches so now what I'm going to do is for round 22 is I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work a row a single crochet decreases so I want to work one single crochet into the first four stitches so go right back into this very first one and that counts as our first one so there's one two three and four now I'm going to single crochet decrease over the next two stitches so I'm going to go into the next one and drop a loop and into the next one and drop a loop and I'm going to yarn over and go through all three loops on my hook and that took two stitches and made it into one so that's what I'm going to repeat now again the whole way around one single crochet into the next four stitches there's one two three four and then single crochet decrease over the next two so go into the next one drop a loop go into the next one after that drop a loop yarn over and go through all three again one single crochet into the next four it's one two three four and single crochet decrease over the next two okay. 
Now I'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the beginning. Single crochet into the next four and then single crochet decrease. Just like that. All the way back around to your starting point. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row 22 and you should end in a decrease stitch. And I did. Now you want to end with the slip stitch into your first uh, single crochet. And now you should have 60 stitches. Now we're going to do one more row. One more round. Round 23. We're going to chain one. And we're going to do one single crochet in every stitch around. So we're going to put one single crochet back into that same stitch. And I'm going to go ahead and work one single crochet in every stitch around back to the beginning. Just like that. So nothing special. Just one single every stitch until you get back around to your starting point. So I'll meet back up with you when I make it back around. Okay, I've made it around to the end of round 23. 60 stitches still. Just go ahead and end with the slip stitch into your first single crochet. And then we can tie this off. Hide that tail. And then you'll be finished. And that's all there is to it. Go ahead and hide my tail, I guess, real quick. Kind of flip it over and weave it in on the underside a little bit. I don't usually hide my tails on camera. I don't know why. But just go ahead and weave this in a few times so it's not going to come undone. And you'll be finished. Pretty easy. Nice looking hat. And I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please, like I said, don't forget to check out the uh, description box there uh, for the auto subscribe link. Uh, that way you don't miss out on any of my uh, videos or anything. Any more of my new ones. And also you can always check me out on Facebook. You'll find the link to those below. I have two Facebook pages. I have an open chat page, which is really nice. All the people on there are very, very nice. You can go on there and post all your questions, post all your crochet items. It's just open for you to, for discussion. Make a lot of friends on there. Uh, the link to that below is in the description box too. So, oh, and don't forget to check out all my, all my other tutorials. I have hundreds of them. So until next time, you have a good day.